April garden tour. Let me show you my garden. It is waking up. It is exciting. Let's go. So we have had a delivery from Forest Garden for the beautiful border that I'm going to be doing for Gardener's World. If you want to hear more about that, then um, yeah, let me know. Um, here's a greenhouse that they also supplied a few months ago. So yeah, a few plants that I am yet to plant out. The beetroot is um, poking through, as you can see. I'll give you a better view. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Struggling to focus. So as we come round, we've got the onions in, the beds are ready, and then we've got things emerging all over the place. Tulips are coming up. Look at this camellia. Gorgeous. It's just coming to the end, so some of the flowers are a little bit bedraggled now. Skimmia is looking gorgeous. Um, the roses waking up. Then we come down, let's show you. Oh, this camellia always flowers sooner than the other one. And um, it means that a lot of the flowers get a little bit damaged. But I need to cut that back. Because if you, as you can see, it's starting to get to a point where it's <laughs> hard to walk past. And then that affects, oh, that affects the grass here. So, um, yeah, we've got the things ready for the kubea. My vocabulary then when and i can't remember what they're called trellis that's the word i'm looking for so yeah the daffodils are all coming up has anyone else got this with their corder lines got a lot of sad corder lines this year so i have seen what people say you should do so if you want me to do a video on that let me know um yeah things are waking up the gunera look look at that Gunera waking up, bleeding heart, looking beautiful. It's looking good, isn't it, guys? So this section this year is going to get a little bit of a revamp. Um, some roses there to go in. But yeah, so stay tuned for that. Um, I It was a section I loved for a few years and then I don't know, I think the rest of the garden has just sort of evolved and so now I just feel like it's not as sort of up to standards as some of the other stuff maybe. Let's use the mini greenhouse dumped on the patio. Here we go, here is the pond. I want to get some new netting for the pond because that's stretched out because I've sort of put it in a place where it wasn't really big enough and sort of pulled it in that so I want to sort it out and do it a little bit better. There we go. Look at this. The aces are waking up. Look how beautiful that is. That's a foxglove tree behind it. So hopefully that takes off this year. But yeah, they're all trying to get that focused. Rhodes will be flowering soon, hopefully. That one, I've just noticed the flowers on that are like really small i would have thought the flowers would be a little bit bigger by now i, s I broke my little frog the other week it's a shame i had a if you see there i had a fatsia japonica that was in a pot and then I, the leaves were just all there out and i was like what's dug that up and then all of a sudden on a closer inspection, I realised that there was loads of vine weevil grubs in there. And so I've had to obviously get rid of the pot of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's why they, they need tidying up. Look at this tulip here. This tulip is absolutely breathtaking. Every year, it just stays there. Wow. And my black bamboo that I've not long bought and added. Just looks incredible, doesn't it, guys? So, yeah, let me know if there's anything that you want to see more of. Um, and I'll be sure to give the people what they want. <laughs> so, there we go. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I will catch you in a bit. 
and thank you so much for watching